Uh, and Justin, thanks for getting up with us. Not the sexiest pick, you know, not a flashy pick, but it does uh, fulfill a, a need for the team. What are your thoughts on that pick? Well, I like it, and I think that you have to like it too if you're a Lions fan, especially if you saw the video of the Lions war room celebrating the pick. Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell, Sheila Ford Hamp just hugging and just so excited about the guy that they got. Look, this is a kid who's only 20 years old, the second youngest player in the draft, if you really look at it. He sat out the 2020 season due to the pandemic, so he's just been training and getting his body ready to come to the NFL level and help Dan Campbell and that offense revamp itself. He's a 331-pound guy, Keenan. 6'5", he's a big road paving man, if you will. So he's one of those guys that when the Lions really kind of get things going in a year or two, he's going to be a big part of why they're having success. Yeah, and you know, they are showing him, we're showing some video here of him doing some great pass blocking and run blocking. It looks like he has some versatility there too. Uh, the Lions have the uh, have three picks tonight. Uh, one in the second round, two in the third round. They are working on their line. What are some of their other needs? Well, they've got a lot of needs, and that was one reason why I kind of wanted the Lions to move back from seven to try to get more picks. They only have five picks in this draft altogether. So when they're identifying some other holes, they have a lot of them. Wide receiver, namely, they need defensive line help. They have a humongous hole at linebacker and in the defensive backfield. The Lions' defense was pretty much dead last in every category last year. Historically bad, if you will. So they have a lot of needs on the defensive side of the ball, but getting a guy in the first round who graded out as high as Penny Sewell did is a big win for this organization. All right, and uh, of course, there were a lot of big moments in the first round. Were there any surprises in last night's draft? You know, there were a couple. There was a, a cornerback taken from South Carolina that was way sooner. It was right after the Lions pick at eight with Carolina, but the biggest one maybe of the first round, at least in the top 15, the Chicago Bears, the old foes of the Detroit Lions, they traded up to get another quarterback. And, well, Michigan and Michigan State fans know this name well. Justin Fields, the quarterback out of Ohio State, who is really one of those, you know, projects. But if he lives up to his potential, six foot five, can throw the ball all over the place. He's a little inconsistent. But now all of a sudden the Lions will have to prepare to go against him because there was some thought that since he fell that far down, maybe a team would trade up with them to get him. But the Bears decided to trade up to 11 to get him instead. So he'll be in the division for the future. Let's see if it pans out. And that's the one thing I'll end it off with this, Keenan. You want these guys to project out. You want them to have success, especially the guy that's playing for your team. But only time will tell right now. It's all just a guess. It's all just a guess, but it's all part of the game, and there is still a lot of excitement left to go. Uh, thank you so much, Justin, for getting up with us and providing some perspective on the uh, Lions pick uh, at number seven. Penny Sewell, a big tackle out of Oregon. No problem. Coffee clinks to you guys. All right. Cheers.